Ladies and gentlemen, as we can see in the title and thumbnail, everybody, today we got a new shoe. As we can see right here, here's the box. Now, if you guys are familiar with your Jordans, this is actually a new release. For anybody wondering, the shoe we got today is the military blue Jordan Force, or you could say industrial blue because they kind of have a new name now, right? As we can see with the boxing, we're gonna get straight into it, right? With the boxing, you got the cement speckle paper right here. You lift this up, okay, you move this, and boom, you're in the shoe, ladies and gentlemen. As we can see, um, this is actually the new release. They came out on May 4th. I'm pretty sure it's when they released for everybody. And yeah, as we can see, here's the shoe. You got the Nike hang tag. And yeah, we're gonna get a full in-depth review, basically going over the history of the shoe, the materials of this shoe, the way it just looks. As we can see, you got Nike Air on the back. And yeah, man, I'm very excited because as you guys know, I actually did get the bread Jordan 4 reimagined. That was actually my last shoe video. I don't know if you guys remember, we actually have the box right here. As we can see, ladies and gentlemen, right here is the box for the bread Jordan 4. We're gonna get a little comparison going on. A fun fact, one thing about these shoes is that, I don't know if you guys have noticed with the boxes, they're actually flipped. Now, as you can see, this is the bread Jordan 4 box and you've got the speckle lid and then the black box. And then on this, you've got the black lid on the military blue with the speckle box, which is actually pretty cool to be honest with you. It's how they flipped. I'm pretty sure this is how like almost every Jordan 4 is. And then fun fact, we even got my red cement box right here. And this one's different because as you guys know, with the bread with Jordan 4 and the blue, or the military blue Jordan 4, it has a lid. This one actually has like the open like this. And as you can see, here's my red cement. Just wanted to show a little comparison. This is actually the old silhouette too of the Jordan 4 for anybody who doesn't know, there's like two or three silhouettes of the Jordan 4 if you wanna include the SB as one. But yeah, this is the older silhouette. It has basically a different shape on the netting, the toe box, and we're gonna get into the review now, okay? Let's go ahead and look at this military blue or industrial blue, because Nike's calling it a new name now. So yeah, I'm very excited. Let's get into this now. So for anybody who doesn't know, this is actually the fourth time the shoe has released. First time the military blue released was in 89, 1989, that is when the Jordan 4 first came out with four colorways. They had the black cement, which is the bread, the white cement, the fire red, and the military blue right here. And as we can see, it actually has the Nike hang tag, just like how it had it in 89. I'm pretty sure it was just like this in orange too, which is super cool. And fun fact, this is actually the first time the military blue shoe has re-released with the Nike Air. Only the OG 89 pair had the Nike Air on the back. The 2006 pair didn't have the Nike Air and the 2012 pair didn't have the Nike Air either. So we can see right here, this is the other shoe too. And let's get into the review. Let's close the box right here. We're gonna be looking at basically how these look on feet, how they fit. Because for anybody wondering, this is size 10 and a half. I actually went up half a size. I usually get size 10. Like my two other Jordan 4s are size 10. I'm gonna pop a size, and to be honest with you, this new silhouette of the Jordan 4, I'm not sure what it, if it has like a name or not, but the new silhouette of the Jordan 4, I noticed fits a little smaller than usual. But as we can see right here, we got the military blues. We can see Nike Air on the back. You got the suede material right here. Here, let me get the close up going on. Right here, you got the suede material. Go around all in that front part right there. Very smooth. Very nice, like I said, Nike hang tag. For anybody wondering, I did buy this on StockX right here. Then you wait, make your way to the back right here. Nike Air, back tab test right here. Boom, boom, very nice right there. Then you got the sole right here, the Nike on the bottom. Like I said, take a look at the difference between the silhouettes. So right here is the red cement, and then right here is the military blues. You can see on the side print right there, the netting is different. You work your way to the front right here. The netting is very different. It may not seem like it, but just look at the difference in the silhouette of the shoe right here. It looks like it slopes more down on the new pair. And then on the older pair, it kind of like curves more. It kind of goes like an angle where it's like this and then flattens out. 
but compared to the military blue, this thing just is like smoothed down. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that on the shoe right here. Aside from that, everything's pretty similar, but the inside right here is super cushioning, like on the collar of the shoe right here. Looks like they got like a lot of cushioning. It's also like that on the bread and then on the older design of the, like the red cement, it's nowhere near as much cushioning on the collar of the shoe, which is honestly interesting to me. I kind of like the cushioning though, because it feels comfortable when you wear the shoe. I'll be honest with you, the new Jordan 4 design, I feel like it's pretty damn comfy. And here we go with the bread Jordan 4, as you can see. Both have Nike Air on the back, bro. I absolutely love this shoe. Like, this is, like, my favorite shoe. Well, this is probably my favorite shoe right now, to be honest with you, because, you know, it's a new pickup right here. I'm going to be wearing this now. But this bread Jordan 4 has been my favorite ever since I've gotten it. Like, look at the bottom. They're, they're pretty dirty, man. I've, I've worn them a good amount, to be honest with you. And, yeah, bro, these are the same silhouette for anybody wondering. They're pretty dang similar except the colorway honestly and yeah like i said both have nike air right there and fun fact this is a size 10 but this right here is a size 10 and a half i went up a half size on the military blue just because i feel like i could this fits fine right this fits perfectly fine but i felt like i would be more enjoyable with a little bit of extra space there's not that much of a difference in a half size i'll be honest with you so if you are interested in getting a pair of the Jordan 4 breads or the Jordan 4 military blues, I honestly recommend just going true to size. But if you like having a bigger shoe or wearing a bigger shoe, you can go a half size up. Jordan 4s usually do fit true to size from my experience, but I just went up half a size because I like wearing some big shoes. I like having room for my toes. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you on that. But yeah, this shoe honestly looks beautiful. For anybody wondering, the build quality on it is super good too. Like on this pair at least, not really any like glue marks. Like if you take a look at the materials here, there's not really like any of those glue marks sometimes you see on the sole. It looks pretty dang good in my opinion. All around the shoe, you make your way to the back. Like just, just the build quality on this shoe seems pretty dang solid from what I've seen. And look how nice the bottom look, looks, just crispy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the on foot wear test. I'm gonna go ahead and put these puppies on and we're gonna see how they look on feet. Very excited because honestly, this is my first time putting them on. So let's give it a shot right here, yo, and get this thing laced up. So yeah, we gotta take out the stuffing right here as we could see stuffing on both shoes right here. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. One thing I've noticed about this shoe, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, the smell just seems different. It just seems different compared to the other Jordans that I've purchased in the past, but that's fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've now gotten the shoes on the feet, man. These things look amazing, bro. I honestly love the way these look, bro. I feel like they look super clean. Here's like the back shot of them. Here's like the side view. Look at that, bro. I'm gonna take off the tags after. Like, as you can see, you got the Nike hang tag. I'm gonna take that off after. But yeah, you got the front view right here. Bro, I think these look super crisp. I like them a lot. Let me know what you guys think. Also, comment down below, what's your favorite shoe of all time? I'm very curious. Mine's probably a Jordan 1 or a Jordan 4. I, I just think the silhouettes look beautiful on them. But yeah, here is how they look on the feet, bro. I honestly think they look clean. Super happy with this pickup, seriously. I'm gonna be wearing these a bunch now, probably. And yeah, I, like I said, I went up half a size, and I actually think that was a great move for me at least, okay? Like I said, I'm usually a 10 or 10 and a half or 11. These, I went with 10 and a half. And yeah, they honestly fit super good. I feel like I even could could go into 11. I wouldn't, but let's say if there was no shoe options left or size options and there was only 11, I'd get 11 because I could rock an 11. I have my Jordan 1 taxis that are actually size 11 and those fit perfect. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Jordan 4. I honestly love this shoe, bro, seriously. I'm super glad they brought it back. Like I said, the last release was in 2012. So it's actually been quite a while since these have came out. And like I said, first time re-releasing with the Nike Air. So that's super dope. Back tab test one more time, bro. I love the shoe. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about them. And stay tuned for more, man. Let me know if you guys want to see a full sneaker collection video. Let me know what y'all want to see on the IRL channel. Comment down below what content you guys want to see. And that's about it, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. And other than that, I'll catch you guys later, all right? Peace!